fellow explorers, we are Martin, Sharon and Taylor, better known as Sailing Trinity, an Irish Aussie family who dared to escape the ordinary. We abandoned jobs, university and the mundane, selling everything we own to chase a life of freedom aboard Trinity, our Genoa Sun Odyssey 50DS. Welcome to the final episode of our Winter Haul Out series. Previously, we have witnessed a complete transformation of Trinity's engine, keel, hull and deck. All thanks to having our boat resurveyed after being sold a bit of an unexpected fixer-upper. Don't miss the chance to show your support by liking and subscribing. Your encouragement keeps the channel and the crew going strong. To our dedicated audience, thank you for your continued presence. We feel you guys. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. We cherish connecting with y'all. All major haul out work done, it's time for the last few finishing touches. Join us this week as Taylor returns from her travels and the crew, now whole again, takes on the task of Trinity's final shipyard clean, getting her truly ready to be uncradled, re-slung, and finally put back into the drink. Without further ado, let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together. She fell asleep on the plane and she didn't feel the plane land. And she's the last person to wake her up. <laughs> she said she didn't even see her there. Imagine how to take her back off again. <laughs> happy birthday, Doyle. Happy birthday, Doyle. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Diego as well? Yeah. Wow, this is something else. You like it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Kiss you. <laughs> Birthday breakfast. After Taylor's time away, some overdue family time was enjoyed. However, with only a few days left in the shipyard, the crew soon traded in catching up and celebrating for some cleaning up and collaborating. Let's join the cleanup crew. Uh, not that kind. We're about to do some cleaning and look who shows up. <laughs> Almost on cue. <laughs> and he came by three or four times after that morning that I rubbed him, but unfortunately I was away. But I pavloped the heck out of that dog. And now he's here for scratches because he knows I'm the best in town. But he's very cute, so I'm gonna go give him a rub and then clean the fenders. <laughs> Priorities, right? Did I have some work to do? Should I have to go? How am I going to shave this angle? No. Okay, that's kind of fun. Is that? Is that a good? Yes. did a great job cleaning the fenders. Sparkling they are. cleaning on the boat today. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to say something. I'm just waiting for you to say something. I'm only doing it as a joke. Don't bludgeon no, it. It says, it. it says push down. Yep. Yeah. It's a different colour, it's black. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, it's just to minimise.
Using a few of the special products purchased last week, the cleanup crew have certainly done well. With once battered fenders sparkling, a stained hull gleaming, and a few scratches hidden, a day's work has certainly paid off. Now, let's see if the crew are as good at putting things away as they are at setting them up. Go team. Uh, the jury's still out on that one, guys. We were supposed to be masking scratches, not making new ones. <laughs> Considering all boats would be safer if we stayed away from them, the crew decided to buckle them for the next few rainy days at the shipyard. This is what you call a grey morning. <laughs> Look at that cloud. I think I'll go back to bed. Definitely go back to bed. Won't be doing anything today. Turn over that way. It's raining, cats and dogs. Oh. The sun is still trying to rise over the other side. Oh, there's a lightning. Oh, you tired, Captain. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I make out the cap up. Speaking of, big love to Kira who bought us five copies this week. For those wondering, we've set up a Buy Me A Coffee page to give you an opportunity to support the channel in a new way. The best part? No sign up needed. And with various payment options available, it's super convenient. With a personal message or without, you can contribute in any way that feels just right for you. If you enjoy the content and feel like giving back, we'll see you guys there. Now, let's check back in with the caffeinated crew. What's up gamers? Welcome back to Sailing TV. <laughs> um, Trinity is getting moved today. Well, although we're leaving the marina in about two days' time. Yes, she is. I'm standing beneath her. It's a lovely, massive keel. But yeah, but we're just getting moved into a different spot. I think the marina like double booked somebody. <laughs> Cheeky. Oh, my bad. They are putting us back in the same spot, but for now they've had to lift us out and move us. Oh, she's, she's huge. So, yeah, it's so crazy. I, I'm like, boats shouldn't be floating in the air. <laughs> I'm happy to be back. But yeah, I'll give you a look at her now. Give me a second. So after three and a half weeks, we go back into the water today and go back over to uh, Paveza Marina. Looking forward to it because it's we've really just been on in, in a shipyard for the last three and a half weeks. This is where we got all the work done in Trinity. She's in really a much better shape than when we brought her over. Yeah, so just they come along, they put her in a sling and we just go back over and kind of get settled into, not sure if we'd be on the same spot or not, but that's okay. And yeah, it's been a little bit like being in zombie land over this side, to be honest. And now at this stage, everybody, there's, there's nobody really living on the, the boat here. A few people still doing a little bit of work. But everywhere, the shop was closed down, the little restaurant, that there was only one. That's all, yeah, it's all going now. So, yeah, looking forward to getting back over to civilization, getting some routines in place. We all good, Trinity crew. Thumbs up. Today we leave. Ionian Marine. After nearly, nearly a month on the heart. Oh, Lots of repairs. Yeah, for sure. Miss the dogs. Taylor's gonna miss her dogs. She made friends with some dogs. Make <laughs> day trips. <laughs> you can take the dinghy down, love and come across. Yeah. Had a lot of rain as well last night and a bit of lightning and stuff. The weather is really messy. So yeah, really looking forward to getting back over to the other side. It's a lot cleaner and it's actually people over there. <laughs> And you can walk for it then just to the top of the road and back. It's a nice day. Thankfully all the rain and the storms were kind of last night and not today. 
It's um, it's challenging being stuck in a shipyard for a month. Absolutely. It's dirty as well. Yeah, <laughs> That's been good. I'm looking yeah. forward to it now. It'll be very helpful actually, you know. But as much as every time we go into a marina, we come out, our wallet's a little bit lighter. A lot lighter. A lot lighter. A lot lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Boat. They say it sounds okay. to bring out another thousand. Um, right. That's very true. It's true. After reflecting on our few weeks at the shipyard and the transformation that Trinity's gone through, the time has finally arrived to get her off the cradle, into the sling, and back on the water. Let's join her. Are the fenders low enough? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. It's coming. <laughs> Mate, this isn't for us. Oh, do they put it into that first they and then into the sling? And then they put it into the sling, yeah. Bro is skillfully maneuvering that. Oh, they need two hands because it's heavy. Happening. Um, we're in the way. <laughs> Are we stressed? Me nerves! <laughs> A little bit. Daddy stress? Um, no. This is so fast. I'm sure. <laughs> Have we forgotten about the concept of human error? Because <laughs> there's three human beings operating heavy machinery. What a pretty ballerina. <sighs> um, that was a terrible pivot joke. So bad, in fact, that when I was editing this, I had to pause for a good minute and think about what the heck I was referring to. My sincerest apologies to you all. <laughs> Straight over. Are you getting them doing <laughs> uh, Looks like they're praising the Lord. I enjoyed my time here. That's because you're only here for a week. Yeah. It's three Sorry. and a half. It's like doing a bit of time in prison. <laughs> a one month, one month stint in the shipyard. Yeah. That's fine. I just am going to miss the dogs. I miss the kids. You have plenty to be doing with the ground. Plenty to be doing. Labor's not the same as getting to pet the dog. A popular girl. She's got all the guys flocking to her. This is when it's just swinging and stuff. Oh. Assessing the situation, Martin is coming back to the entrance and leaving the boat in the sling. <laughs> Creature is approaching at a moderate pace with high cortisol by the looks of things. The procedure is just going to drop us in. Yeah. We're going to give them four lines, two on each side. Yeah. Balance there. We've already set them up. And then we're going to, then we're going to slip them on the winds coming in from the starboard side, so we'll slip them last. They'll just direct us anyway, there's going to be four of them there. So slip the port side first, yeah? Uh, well, yeah, take off the port, the port side, but we're going to slip off on yeah. the starboard side. Nice and easy there now, nice and easy with our baby, with our house. Ooh. That's a communion procession. <laughs> People walking behind the coffin. <laughs> Here you are, my beauty.
we have it, folks. After a total of three and a half weeks spent between the Ionian shipyard and Cleopatra's apartments, it's time for us to take our leave. Finally. And although we're a bit tired of being on the hard, it was a truly valuable experience that saw a complete boat resurvey along with a total transformation to our hull, keel, engine, fenders, deck, and a few other internal systems. It's been a super rewarding and insightful few weeks that has fueled us with confidence in ourselves and in our vessel for the upcoming 2024 sailing season ahead. Join us next week as we continue discovering the charming town of Provesa. Are you ready? We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there, guys!